We recognize that there are more people doing more strenuous activities in our parks. And so there have been more medical calls for service in our parks. So AEDs have distinguished themselves as a very useful tool in the community uh, for treating folks with cardiac events until 911 responders can arrive. We wanted to make sure that these AEDs are available in our parks for folks who need them. So we are adding AEDs to pretty much all of our outdoor recreation facilities, our parks. Having it available at the parks gives somebody the opportunity to really make a difference uh, as far as whether or not a person lives or dies um, in, the, in the brief amount of time that it takes for the ambulance to get there. The dispatchers the 911 center are also trained to help coach people uh, on how to do CPR and how to use an AED, so having them available is a great resource as well. So our people have one of the biggest roles in this process. So when a citizen activates 911, the first thing we ask is, where's your emergency? And when they give us one of these locations that have one of these public access AEDs, we know where it is and we're able to direct the citizen to that cabinet. And the biggest piece is they are secured cabinets, so we do provide the access code to those. And we have the ability to give over the phone, step-by-step -step instructions. While all of that is going on, they've already started, you know, EMS, fire, police, whomever it may be for, they're already on the road. The significance is that seconds matter. So what this does is it really bridges that critical time gap from where there's an emergency medical incident that occurs and really allows the citizens to be the first first responder by having access to these AED cabinets.